Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your Love Connection reading for May. This is Mary, and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So, Gemini, we are going to take a look at the energy around you at this time in love. So this has to be an actual connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together, but you do have to know each other in some way, shape, or form. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. Uh, it could be just a crush situation, a breakup, um, just starting to get to know, dating. Whatever your situation is, you do have to know each other. If you are single looking for love, I do offer a singles reading. And you can find your playlist below for love in general. And you can find the singles readings. They are up for April. All the April readings are out. So you could go back and watch those if you choose to. Or if this doesn't resonate for you, uh, again, check the playlist below. And feel free to browse your readings. Anything resonates, I'd say watch it. I do consider them all timeless. So please feel free to do that. So this is for Gemini, someone rising in Venus, male or a female. This could be past, present or future. Uh, please only take it how it resonates for you. If it's not resonating for you, it's not your reading. Please don't try to make it fit or leave me negative comments. I will delete them just so you know. And uh, we'll see what we get here for Gemini. So I hope you're all doing well and staying safe at this time. So let's see what we get for Gemini. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. We could get a sign, element, or a planet. So if you're new to my channel, I pull one of these. If you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, totally fine. Doesn't mean that the reading's not for you. So let's see here for Gemini. Also, Gemini, down below in the description box, you can find a lot of information. If you would like a personal reading, decks I'm using, social media links. If you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or just send mail in general. All that info is below, so feel free to check that out. And if this doesn't re resonate for you, you can also check your Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. You check readings for those signs. Maybe something there will resonate. All right. And if you're new and you like my style, how I read, uh, feel free to subscribe at the bell. You won't miss out. And you get about five readings a month. So if you do, thank you. Okay, Gemini. Let's see what we have for Gemini spirit, please, in love or at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading for Gemini. Okay, so, wow. And I got, I kind of got this message before I even started about uh, truth and clarity and like you being in your energy and what comes out here is Mercury. And this is Gemini. Mercury, Mercury uh, is ruled by Gemini. So this is about truth, clarity, open, honest communication kind of energy. Um, the mind, ideas, um, that kind of energy. We do have 15 there, which is six, which is about healing and balancing energy. So we shall see here. So what I'm going to do next, Gemini, if you're new to the channel, is this is a new deck for me. This is the uh, Journey of Love Oracle, which I just got this. So it's the first time I'm using it for my love readings for May. So felt it was time for a new deck for my love readings. Okay. So what I'm going to do first here, Gemini, is pull an opening energy, sort of like an opening energy love message between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about for this reading. See what the energy is like between the two of you or the energy of the connection at this time. What's the message you need to know or what is the energy of this reading for Gemini, for this love reading, whoever they're thinking about at this time. For Gemini, someone rising Venus, male or female, for the general collective, that's too many. I just want one for Gemini, please. Thank you so much. Right, let's take that one. And we have three to one and ten. And ten is about completion, and then that's one is a new beginning. So three to one is about the mind, body, and soul becoming one. So if you felt disconnected lately, um, like everything just wasn't in sync, uh, whether, you know, just internally, externally, in your life, uh, spiritually, whatever here, it's about everything finally coming into sync and everything finally coming into one. It's like that communication mercury. It's like your mind finally communicating to your heart and your soul and everything just being in sync and becoming one. Wow. So... This could be an energy of, you know, two people coming together in balance because six there is about healing and balance coming into balance where both parties, uh, my body and soul are combining into one. Two people separately coming in sync to come into sync together to bring harmony, peace and balance kind of energy. 
but there may be need to be some uh, open, honest, truthful communication between two. Because that is that Mercury energy. That's definitely your energy. So you may need to be the one that needs to communicate something here. Or if there is a third party, I, I see here maybe, you know, that being eliminated and two people that are in sync with each other finally realizing that and dropping a third party to have a new beginning could be for some. All right, so let's see for Gemini here. So what I'm going to do next, Gemini, is I'm going to put you on this side, your person on this side, and... We'll see how you're feeling about each other in the connection, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll get the actual situation. Actually, I'm getting a lot of repeating cards, so until I ask. So we'll look into the actual situation, advice, possible outcome, pull some closing um, oracles here with this deck, a secret language of light, and um, of course we're using the tarot here. And then I always go over the bottom of the decks. All right, so for Gemini, how is Gemini feeling about their person in this connection? So we have dream a little. You're dreaming of this person, dreaming of what it would be like. And we have 51 again, which is about healing and balance energy. You see that? So, yeah, so <laughs> dreaming. You could be dreaming of this person, dreaming of what it would be like to be with this person. And how is your person feeling? Cosmic butterfly. So this is a uh, spiritual transformation. We have 36, which is nine. Nine's about almost coming to a completion of something here. So it could be that your person, because this is about the three to one mind, body, and soul all becoming one. It can also be about, you know, that the mind finally becoming spiritually awakened and being in tune and touch with all three energies, mind, body, and soul, and all merging into one energy. So this person could be uh, transforming. That's about spiritual transformation. So you <laughs> feel like you're dreaming of this person, what it would be like to be with this person, um, to have healing and balance, and they're transforming in some way here. But something is coming down from three to one, whether there's a third party being dropped, or somebody coming into full alignment and finally realizing here somebody brings them uh, peace, harmony, and balance and transforming. So we'll see here. What's on the bottom of the deck? So we have Hidden Beauty 45, which is 9 again, coming to a conclusion or a ending or something here of some kind. Hidden Beauty. So there's a lot of hidden treasure, beauty, happiness, joy. In this connection that's not been seen yet uh, somebody could be facing inner demons here and that could be that uh, transformation from three to one is fighting those demons and overcoming them and then the body just merging all as one and having that transformation here the cosmic butterfly maybe you're dreaming of this person you know waiting for them to heal whatever they need to heal here but there is a lot of hidden things in this connection a lot of hidden beautiful things to come and that could be what you're dreaming of here, uh, Gemini. Wow. So we'll see. We'll see how this plays out. So for Gemini, let's clarify this energy for Gemini in love at this time. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female in love for the general collective. Let's clarify this energy for Gemini, please. Thank you so much, Spirit. Let's clarify these energies for Gemini in their person, whoever they're thinking about at this time for this love reading for Gemini, please. Thank you so much. What is this dream a little for Gemini, please? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We have the page of scrolls, the pilgrim here. So I do believe this is because the wording is a little bit different on here. So just going to think for a minute. Um, I believe this is the page of swords. So this is about, um, you could be spying on this person, <laughs> whatever they're doing over here, whatever they're transforming, whatever they're healing, whatever here, um, you could be knowing they're on a journey, like on this transformational journey, but the page of scrolls, uh, swords is also that energy of maybe spying on someone also, but this can, this is also, um, open on triple communication also. So I feel like you're wanting that or waiting, uh, for that from them all right so what else for gemini 
clarifying dream a little, please. All right, we'll take this one. The Ace of Stones. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So you're waiting for you're waiting for the sun to shine. You see the sun sun shining in the background there. So that's about waiting for this new opportunity of a long term stable beginning here with this person to stability, growth, wealth, abundance. That's the hidden beauty in this. The growth, the abundance, the long-term prosperity that you want with this person, long-time growth. And I feel like you're waiting. Um, you're waiting in some way, shape, or form. Not necessarily waiting, waiting, but you like kind of know that you know this is probably going to happen and you're dreaming of it. Maybe like using uh, the law of attraction or manifesting this. Could be spying on them or just learning learning things online, possibly about uh, sacred connections and that kind of energy. All right, so what do we have here for transformation? Cosmic butterfly for Gemini's person in this love reading. All right, so we have the king of mirrors here. Water energy, which is Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. If I mention the sign um, that you're dealing with, that's great. If not, totally fine. It's all just energy. So king, king or queen, doesn't matter here. King Amiris is, is Pisces energy. So this is someone who is now having truth, clarity, um, spiritual energy, becoming awakened. Someone who definitely realizes now they do have love and emotions and feelings. Um, now realizing they may have psychic abilities or... Uh, very healing, nurturing, giving kind of energy, compassionate energy. Sometimes they don't always speak it clearly, uh, the King of Mirrors, but here, Scorpio energy with judgment. So they could be in the energy here of now really, truly, as they're transforming, knowing how they truly feel about you. And this is about judgment, can be about forgiveness, resurrection of soulmates, making a final decision and judgment call. This judgment usually brings the soulmates soulmates back together, rising like the phoenix out of, you know, whatever energy they're in, transforming out of. You see the phoenix rising here, cosmic butterfly transformation, spiritual transformation, rising from whatever was within them and now wanting maybe forgiveness because of what they had, if they had to disconnect from you because of their own issues from within. I feel like they're rising above that. And now King of Mirrors is very healing energy, uh, very intuitive kind of energy. Maybe they're finally being in touch with that, three to one. So they could be asking for forgiveness, making a final judgment call, finally coming forward uh, with love. Though they may have a little bit of trouble expressing that. But you're waiting for this truthful communication, for this long-term stability with this person. So let's see what the actual situation is here for you. Gemini, it's way too many for Gemini, for Gemini. You may be going on your own journey too here, you know, kind of doing your own thing, going on your own journey also while they're doing their thing. Um, so how well that resonates for you. So we got the three of stones, the three of pentacles energy. So you could be just working if you're still working. Um, this is about teamwork, collaboration, working together. So you're definitely in the energy of wanting to work this out with this person, but you could also be just still working uh, working in general, working on yourself here, working with others. And we do have now the Knight of Scrolls. So now we're having air energy come in again. So the Knight of Scrolls here could be Aquarius. So the Knight of Scrolls takes action. It's very fast paced action here. So I feel like, again, you're waiting for, <laughs> you're waiting for this to come in quickly and, uh, have this communication about working together and working this out, the long-term stability to growth and abundance. So let's see what else here for the actual situation for you here, Gemini. So we do have the page of mirrors. So this is uh, water energy. So this again is open, honest, truthful communication, loving communication, words of endearment, words of love. That's between the two of you here. So you definitely wanna communicate the love between you in some way, shape, or form here. Could be, again, apology. Apology here. You could be waiting for an apology. They're wanting to give an apology or vice versa, however it works for you. Energy here. So you're waiting for someone 
someone's waiting for someone to rush in either with words of love or an apology or something like that and working this out to have this long-term stability beginning here so what else here for i'm getting the same colors here as there so i feel like they're rising above whatever internal conflict uh challenges whatever was um internally uh, going on with them rising above that energy and transforming so what else here yeah the wheel of fortune sagittarius energy here so fate destiny divine timing uh things moving in the right direction things getting better here wheel of destiny and fate so they're wanting for this to go uh much better direction things to get better go better things to move in the right direction they're wanting this they know it's fate and destiny but the wheel. All right. So what else here for Gemini? Justice. Yeah. So <laughs> Libra energy. Wow. They have a lot of major arcana on their side. So this is major for them. Whatever they're transforming, healing, issues they're working through internally. I'm not getting any third party here. So that three to one could finally be, you know, them coming into that energy of their mind, body, and soul merging as one, finally overcoming any challenges issues um that they have now wanting to bring true clarity balance here with justice giving you justice serving justice wanting justice in this connection because we have justice in the wheel wow that is amazing so they definitely want to serve this justice and have this move and along in a better direction here could be with an apology or just finally speaking their truth about how they feel because we have the king in the page so the king coming forward knowing how he truly feels knowing what he wants who he loves and verbalizing that coming in quickly working together going in a better direction and serving this connection connection the justice it deserves so let's see here for you gemini let's get advice it's a lot of hidden beauty to come in this and like you're dreaming of that it's like you know you could also be you know intuitive and know this you know your mind body and soul could al also be one also i feel like maybe you're um energetically a little more advanced than they are but they're getting there so let's see what the advice is the hermit so virgo energy here so this is about someone finding their way their path their light going in healing um contemplation <clears throat> finding uh their true soul's calling and then we have the four scrolls again to that energy this is like the minor of the hermit so this is again somebody healing thinking contemplating resting recuperating um rejuvenating um retreat energy of course we're all in this energy now because of the state of the world right now so you may be separated from this person you can't come together because of the current situation of the world and i'm also getting the energy of three to one like you, them versus the state of the world that we're in right now is preventing you from coming together. So once the world heals, I'm getting that like all, almost all my readings, once the world heals, then this will be, you know, from three to one, two souls emerging as one. Seven of mirrors, again, could be, you know, illusions, confusion, options or choices. So, so if you are confused about how they feel, what they're thinking, what they're doing, what they're going through, just know they're finding their path their way their light they're healing they know what they want they've done that deep dull, deep down soul searching healing transformative work even though you because your back is to them so you may not see hear, know maybe you're not communicating right now for some reason or maybe you are maybe just on a friend basis and uh you're not really sure you know what they've been going through what they've been doing how they've been healing um how they've been transforming how they're truly feeling but i think you're going to know soon here the sun yeah oh my god leo energy <laughs> so you're looking at the sun here so you you know you know you want this this is soulmate twin flame energy so you know this is a divine connection the sun here is the happiest card in the deck total clarity um success and victory happy home and family healing energy um enlightenment so just know you will be enlightened to the truth very soon about the soul flame tommy uh, soulmate twin flame connection and this will lead to 
happiness, joy, success, victory, happy home and family, healing energy. Someone's doing deep, deep healing, especially with the sun and the hermit here. And you may not see it or know you're feeling disillusioned and confused, but no, this is what they're going through. And I think they're going to be telling you that soon. All right. So let's get possible outcome here. Now, I don't know where their deep issues came from, like why they were in that energy um, of having, you know, it could be past relationships, how they were raised by their parents. Um, you know, maybe it, some kind of traumatizing situation they went through um, when they were younger or whatever here. Um, but whatever caused them to be in this energy, they are now transforming out of that. So however that, if you know their backstory, then you know what they're rising above from, rising like the phoenix from. So let's see possible outcome here would be. So we have the eight of spirals here, which is fast, fast action travel communication, Cupid's arrows, uh, communication over the internet, obviously. But then we do have temperance here in reverse, which is Sagittarius energy. So I feel like, you know, this is about balance, peace, harmony, patience, um, Kind of energy and this also brings the soulmates together somebody could hear could be impatient about communicating like they can't wait any longer so let's get one more it's a possible outcome well i'm not going to take this too many let's get one more for the possible outcome one more for the possible outcome one more for gemini all right there we go Five of Stones, Five of Pentacles energy. Yeah, someone's feeling lonely, abandoned, left out in the cold, um, neglected. Somebody here is sad, sad kind of energy. Five of Stones, Pentacle energy. So yeah, somebody here <laughs> is impatient about this and wanting to communicate, travel, um, sending these love arrows, coming in quickly. Someone's impatient about this because they're sad, lonely, maybe, I don't want to say depressed, but feeling neglected, abandoned, left out in the cold. So wanting to come together and being very impatient. So there will be some sort of communication here. It could be an email, a text, um, over the phone or something like that. But again, you know, the temperance angel brings the soulmates together. But I feel again, like there's no coming together right now because of the state of the world. So somebody's very impatient about that, but there will be. Cupid's arrows here sent again. And I kind of have like the sun, moon kind of energy there again and feminine, masculine energy. So I want to see if we can get any energy of what kind of issues that are rising above spirit, please. What is this uh, Gemini's person? What kind of issues are they rising above? Can we get any clarity on that for Gemini's person? Let's see. Oh, we got three. So we have the Four of Wands, the Six of Stones, and the Magician. So this is, wow, so this is a home life, something about equal balance and a home life here. And a Magician here is about manifesting a brand new beginning. And this is um, Gemini and Virgo. So it could be, this is very positive energy here. So... It could be they tried to manifest something in the past um, that didn't work out for them. And for some reason, it had to do something with their home life. Maybe, you know, as a youth. Uh, maybe somebody here. The magician sometimes can be a man manipulator, especially it's in reverse. Someone, so it could have been a parent figure here um, that was very, had very, like, dark energy. With the, I'm getting with the crows there. It was very... Um, yeah, I'm getting maybe here it was parental energy. It wasn't a good energy here. They longed for balance and stability, but yet they kept getting this dark energy from either both parents or one of their parents, which affected them growing up and how they were raised. So it could have been abuse, verbal abuse. It could have been um, addictions, obsessions kind of energy. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So it could have been when a mother figure here, we do have the empress uh, somebody was very combative on guard kind of energy too also so yeah so it could have been their mother the empress which would be libra or taurus so that's kind of the energy i'm getting with that if that's their story then um 
you know, that's good. If not, that's totally fine. It could be something else. Uh, it could have been, you know, maybe they were married before and that broke up. Somebody was very manipulative and destructive and ruined the marriage, which brought them a lot of imbalance. But I feel like they're overcoming that energy, whatever their story is. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you, Gemini. So we do have, as we said, the Empress. So I'm going to just put that there and put that one there also. So here we have the hero here, which is the fool, which is um, Aquarius. So this is resetting, rebalancing, resetting at zero, having a fresh start, leap of faith, jumping right in. So somebody here definitely wants to take a leap of faith. Wanting to take a leap of faith as a resetting back to zero could be your person. The moon, yeah. So there's a lot of dark energies around them. Maybe a lot of secrets that you didn't know about, but this is deep emotional energy. So again, um, deep emotional healing probably here because we do have the queen of cups here, which could be cancer. So, and the moon is either cancer or Pisces. So somebody here, I feel like face their their deep healing energies, moon secrets, illusions here and healed from that as we get the moon in the background too. So listening to your intuition, becoming wiser, they're going on a deep soul emotional journey here and now resetting here, seven of stone. So investing in themselves, analyzing, assessing um, for the future, but waiting. So that's what I'm getting with that. So we do have here... Um, the Knight of Spirals energy, Knight of Wands. So this could be uh, Leo, doesn't have to be. But we do have the skin, King of Scrolls here, which is your energy, which is Gemini. So they could have been, you know, could have been a fire sign, but doesn't have to be. But maybe, you know, they are very in and out energy because of their deep emotional issues that they had to heal. So it was just in and out, in and out, nothing serious. But now, yeah, the world needs strength here to heal. So we have Leo and we have the world energy here, which is Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. So as the world heals, transforms, they're closing out cycles, wanting to start new cycles. You know, they're having their strength, you know, gaining, regaining their strength also as they're transforming. Very strong connection between the two of you. Um, being determined, courageous and brave, having willpower, endurance also, and knowing that. So, and we do have the Queen of Scrolls here too. So we have a matching couple here, air energy here. So this could be um, Libra, doesn't have to be. So again, truth, clarity, cutting away things no longer serving, telling it like it is, not backing down. Open, honest, truthful communication because they will be reuniting here. Maybe summertime, coming together, reuniting kind of energy. Something coming, coming in uh, more stable. The King of Pentacle energy, uh, which could be Virgo. So somebody coming in much more stable, reuniting truth, clarity, regaining their strength, transforming new cycles, starting old cycles, ending again, truth and clarity, uh, divine matching couple here with the king and queen of um, swords might have been in and out before, but now they're just investing in themselves as they're healing and transforming and facing their shadow side with the moon energy. And now resetting and wanting to take a leap, leap of faith and resetting back to zero and knowing the hidden beauty in this connection. And you're dream, you're definitely dreaming of them, thinking of them, wanting them, this connection, manifesta manifestation here. And I did say you could be using the law of attraction. 25, 7 is a divine uh, spiritual energy. So I think I'll keep that one. Usually I shuffle. So let's get some closing energy for you, Gemini. Closing energy for you, Gemini. Closing energy for Gemini. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel. You see the light there going <laughs> light at the end of the tunnel. This is the journey they've been on, their soul journey. And also you <laughs> manifesting with the law of attraction and seeing. And here's the sun at the end. And we got the sun here. All right. So let's see, Gemini, let's get some other closing messages for Gemini. What else for Gemini about this connection? What do they need to know? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm thinking these two. Alignment, exactly. And there's that sword. This is like the Ace of Swords energy. Things coming into alignment, divine alignment. Swords are air, which always to me is divine energy. So divine alignment here, five, four, 14, five, change, 
challenge, but truth, clarity, successful new beginning, epiphany, aha moments. Someone's coming into definitely inner alignment here with themselves and ready now for their soulmate. And we have here 26 here, Visca, the Esca Piscis, I think is how you say it. So we have 26 here, which is eight, action, travel, communication. So this is the energy of the mind, body, and soul all becoming one in that energy. Always being interconnected between the outer world and the inner world. Two people that have been divinely connected also probably maybe through lifetimes. This is infinity. So being connected beyond infinity here between the two of you. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Expansion. So somebody here, definitely 44, four, double confirmation of stability, foundation, coming together, uh, 44, eight, travel, action, communication. So somebody is finally, definitely chakra, al chakra alignment here, their mind, body, and soul expanding, um, transforming into alignment. So your person is transforming into alignment and now ready to come back into union with this divine connection here. And you manifested this in some way, shape, or form. But there is light at the end of the title here with this connection with the expansion. Wow. So, Gemini. Wow, quite a reading here. So, I hope this resonated for you. So, best of luck. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.